Now, two years ago, over two years ago, I believe, in uh, April 2020, I posted a video um, on how to propagate your Aloe striatula, quite a popular tropical gardening um, plant to grow in the UK, and people do seem to go crazy over them in the uh, hardy tropicals community. Um, now, this is one of the three cuttings I took, sorry, I took, and uh, this is actually the only survivor. And um, if you take a look back, in fact, I'll link the video in the description if you're interested in seeing how to propagate these bad boys. Um, but yeah, if you take a look at that video, this is of the two cuttings that I just plopped in the ground lengthways. This is the one which was biggest, however, it had no leaves. Um, the other cutting that was planted in the same way with a couple of leaves did take, however, that died last summer in 2021. Um, I believe it was a root rot, um, but I'm not quite sure. Anyway, so here's a little update two years on of what you can expect your Aloe Striatula cuttings to look like. This is a beautiful shape, a nice little um, clump. And uh, you can see the trunk is really thickened up and it's got a nice almost mini tree or bush-like shape to it, whereas some Aloe Striatulas grow a bit more leggy. Um, but yeah, I'm going to just turn and show you the tropical bed. Excuse the messy brickwork. Um, they are going to be replaced with um, sleepers towards the end of this year. As you can see though, we have a number of Alex Triatula cuttings. These guys have just recently gone in for the, uh, for the most part anyway. This one's brand new. The two little guys here in the foreground are brand new. And the two back here are also brand new. However, this guy back here, he's been in for a little while. As has this guy here at the front, just under the cordial line. And so has this guy here, who actually flowered this year, as did the parent plant. Two big boys at the back are brand new cuttings as well. So as you can see with these huge, um, torso height cuttings the main plant has been an absolute savage this year and it really did, ex did explode in growth um, so I've just taken a load more cuttings as he stopped flowering and for the most part the um, seeds haven't taken you're left with little um, kind of seed sticks like this with nothing on them that seed pod oh he's actually taken perhaps we'll get a seed from that then um, but yeah I'll show, them, show you the main plant now just to show you uh, what he looks like now without all these huge growths on him. I've taken him right back, so he's a similar size to this, just a little bit more bushy. Okay, so here we are by the steps, and dear me, bloody dogs with their bottles. Anyway, here's the main plant. As you can see, I've taken him right back, but still plenty of growth on him. He's growing right next to the Canary Island date palm. Um, Quite poorly situated to be honest because A, when it's all grown and big it prickles people on the way up, up the steps and two, it's just in such close proximity to the palm that it's just not really feasible but both of them have been in for so long now and to be honest I never really expected this to get this big or live so long but clearly it's now a permanent feature of the garden. Um, as you can see I've left one large growth on here and that is because we have some huge seed pods so perhaps we'll be able to propagate this from seed as well and maybe we'll have a third aloe uh, propagation installment where we grow these guys from seed perhaps next year palm tree is also getting pretty huge now both him and the aloe again have loved this record-breaking hot summer but here you go huge thick chunk with loads of stems he's an absolute thick boy um, but yeah once the seeds are done on there we'll lop that one off as well and he'll be nice and compact for the winter so we've seen the main parent plants and how big he's gotten and uh, how many cuttings we've recently taken of him all along the tropical bed here, which I promise will be looking nicer by the end of the year. Um, but back to the cutting, because this is the uh, instalment you've been 
asking for on the previous video. Everyone wanted to see how the cuttings take along. We've got one of the three left and he looks absolutely great. However, in the two years plus that have passed, we've had other successful cuttings, such as the guys over here, which are fully rooted and not going anywhere. Um, and have even flowered in the ground. So uh, yeah, the flowers on these are beautiful yellow candle-like racemes. The native pollinators absolutely love them. The bees, the wasps, hornets, little beetles, butterflies, they're all over them. Even the ants. So uh, yeah, beautiful desert plants. Well worth a spot in your garden if you can get a hold of some.